It was foretold that if the prince did not find true love before his 18th birthday, he would meet an untimely demise. The queen, concerned for the happiness of her beloved dwarf prince, arranged a competition among seven virgins to find his true love. Time was of the essence, for a prophecy foretold that the prince must find true love before his 18th birthday, or face an untimely demise. Under the watchful eyes of the queen and her vigilant guards, the seven virgins were secluded in chambers, their every move monitored closely. To the queen's dismay, she witnessed acts of deceit and manipulation among the maidens, as some tried to win the prince's favour through cunning schemes and illicit advances. However, amidst the chaos, a silent figure caught the queen's attention. Kate, a maiden with long hair and striking green eyes, yet shunned by her peers due to her muteness. Intrigued by Kate's quiet demeanour, the queen summoned an interpreter to uncover her story. Through the interpreter, the queen learned of Kate's tragic past, orphaned at birth, mistreated by her stepmother, and robbed of her voice by a cruel potion. Despite her hardships, Kate remained resilient, her spirit unbroken. Moved by Kate's tale of resilience and captivated by her silent strength, the queen saw beyond her muteness and recognised the purity of her heart. Determined to give Kate a voice and a chance at love, the queen intervened in the competition. In a dramatic twist, the queen announced Kate as the chosen one, much to the astonishment of the court. With tears of joy streaming down her face, Kate expressed her gratitude through silent gestures, her eyes speaking volumes. United by fate and blessed by the queen's benevolence, Kate and the dwarf prince embarked on a journey of love and understanding, defying all odds and proving that true love knows no boundaries, not even silence. And so, in the kingdom's annals, the legend of the mute maiden who found her voice in love and the dwarf prince who found his heart's desire became immortalised for generations to come. Their love was a mystery to many, for how could two souls communicate without words? But the dwarf prince found solace in Kate's silent presence, for in her eyes he saw not pity or revulsion, but unwavering affection. As the fateful day of the dwarf prince's 18th birthday drew near, the kingdom braced itself for the impending tragedy foretold by the seers. Yet, on the eve of his birthday, disaster struck as the dwarf prince collapsed, his breath faltering as life slipped away from him. Desperate pleas echoed through the palace halls as physicians from far and wide were summoned, their expertise failing to halt the prince's decline. Amidst the chaos, Kate remained steadfast by the dwarf prince's side, her heart heavy with grief at the thought of losing her beloved. In the stillness of the night, with tears streaming down her cheeks, Kate leaned in to press a gentle kiss upon the dwarf prince's lips, bidding him farewell in the only way she knew how. And then, as if by some miracle, the dwarf prince stirred from his slumber, his eyes fluttering open to meet hers. Queen Adama, entering the chamber at that moment, could scarcely believe her eyes as she beheld her son alive and well. Joyous celebrations erupted throughout the kingdom as news of the dwarf prince's miraculous recovery spread like wildfire. Amidst the revelry, the dwarf prince and Kate stood hand in hand, their love a beacon of hope amidst the darkness. And as the sun dipped below the horizon, casting hues of gold and crimson across the sky, the kingdom rejoiced in the union of their beloved dwarf prince and his mute maiden, for theirs was a love that defied all odds. As the imminent coronation drew near, the weight of responsibility bore heavily upon him, for he feared that his unborn child would inherit his condition of dwarfism. The memories of his own childhood struggles haunted him, and he vowed to spare his offspring from the same hardships he endured. Desperate for a solution, the dwarf prince sought counsel from the depths of the kingdom's law, where whispers of a powerful witch echoed through the winds. Ignoring his wife's warnings, he resolved to seek out the witch, believing her dark arts held the key to his child's fate. Unbeknownst to him, Queen Kate, wise and discerning, recognised the folly of such a venture. 
she remembered all too well the perilous encounter with the witch that nearly claimed her husband's life. Determined to protect both her husband and their unborn child, she took decisive action. Summoning her most trusted guards, Queen Kate instructed them to venture into the treacherous depths of the evil forest, where the witch purportedly dwelled. Their mission was clear, to find the witch and eradicate her before the dwarf prince could fall prey to her machinations. But fate had other plans in store, as the brave guards ventured deeper into the forest, they stumbled upon a malevolent curse laid by the witch herself. Before they could react, a horde of ravenous alligators emerged from the murky depths, tearing through the ranks of the palace guards with ruthless efficiency. As night fell, Queen Kate anxiously awaited the return of the guards, her heart heavy with dread. But as the hours passed, it became painfully clear that her loyal soldiers would never return, lost to the sinister forces that lurked within the evil forest. With her resolve hardened and her determination unyielding, Queen Kate vowed to protect her family at any cost. For she knew that true strength lay not in seeking out dark magic, but in the unwavering love and devotion that bound her to her husband and their unborn child. And so, amidst the looming shadows of uncertainty, Queen Kate stood as a beacon of hope, ready to face whatever challenges lay ahead in her quest to safeguard her family's future.